Welcome to Form 1 Mathematics DLP Chapter 1 Rational Number Subtopic 1.3 Positive and Negative Fractions In this lesson, you will learn how to represent positive and negative fractions on number line and you will also compare and arrange positive and negative fractions in ascending and descending order. Shall we start? Right, in primary school, you have learned about fractions. Let's recall the parts of the fraction. On the top part, we call them numerator. And on the bottom part, we call them denominator. Okay, numerator, denominator. Let's look at some of the operation. Alright, if you still remember, if we add or subtract any fraction, the denominator must be the same. For this example, okay, we look that these two pizza have the same denominator, which is the 8. So 5 8 plus 1 8, you get 6 8. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both of them with 2. So 6 divide 2, you get 3. And 4 divide, sorry, 8 divide 2, you get 4. So in the end, we get th 3 quarters of the pizza. Now, do you still remember how do we add or subtract if it, it has different denominator? Alright, if you remember, as we need to change the denominator so that it is, it is same, yes, you are correct. Alright, so this pizza one of them is uh, 3 8 and the other one is a quarter. So usually what we do is we change the number that is the smaller. So the number for one quarter is smaller than 3 8, the number, not the value. Okay, so we multiply 2 so that I can get 8. When I multiply 2 on denominator, I will also multiply 2 on the numerator. So 1 multiply 2, you get 2. So now it is 2, 8. So 2, 8, both of them has 8. Okay. We can then plus them together, which is 3 plus 2, you get 5. Never add the denominator. Okay. So, the final answer is 5, 8. The same thing for subtract. When we don't have the same denominator, what we do is we change the denominator. So, half of this denominator, I multiply 3 in order for me to get 6. I multiply 3 on denominator, I do the same again on the numerator. So 1 multiply 3, I get 3. Now I can minus of 1, 6. So 3 minus 1, you have left with 2. So 2 over 6. Now if you want to, according to the question, if it says simplify, so we need to simplify. I know that 2 and 6 can be divided with 2. So, 2 divide 2, I get 1. 6 divide 2, I get 3. So, my final answer is a third of a pizza. Alright, we'll look more on that later on when we do our computation. Now, let's look at how to uh, represent fraction on the number line. As you all know that 
fraction also have negative and positive so still remember that negative is on towards the left of the zero okay towards the left of the zero and the positive number is towards the right of the zero now let's look at this number now this number all have the same denominator which is six so now because it's already in the same denominator we don't have to change anything so the only thing we need to know to how to arrange now let's look at one by one so i'm going to look at the negative number sorry negative fraction first so negative fraction i got two one of them is negative one over six the other one is negative three over six still remember that the nearer the more left it goes the larger the number same as fraction now we look at all these it is six that means every of the section is in six so the first one will be negative one over six sorry we the, it goes first and the same so this one is 1 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 okay every of it is 6 and then this one will also be the same as 1 2 3 of 6 okay so when I arrange it okay right side for the positive number 1 over 6 then the left one is negative 1 over 6. Okay, we move negative 3 over 6, 3 towards the left. Next to 1 over 6 is 2 over 6. And lastly, will be 4 over 6. So this is for if you have the same denominator. Now what happens when it is different? So according to this question, it has already put 0 on the number line and 1 over 9. So I know that the each section will be in 9. Problem is, one of the sorry, 2 of the fraction is 1 over 3. So I need to change the denominator so that it is 9. So in order for me to get 9, so 3 need to multiply a number to get 9. So what number is that? Yes, it is 3. So when I multiply 3 on denominator, I also multiply 3 on numerator. So 1 multiply 3, you get 3. Means that this fraction is negative 3 over I'm going to do the same for 1 over 3. So you get 3 over 9. Now that my fraction is already in the 9, so I need to determine the position of the uh, number. So I know that every of it is in ninth. So num one ninth. So it will two ninth, three ninth, four. This one will be the same, but in negative. All right. So I know that where I should arrange the number. So let's do that. So 2 9 should go at the 2 9th. And then, remember we changed the fraction. It is negative 3 over 9. Okay, negative 5 over 9. The last one is 1 third. So remember, if it has different denominator, we change the denominator so all have the same denominator. Right next, we'll see how to arrange them in ascending and descending 
order. So for this type of question, there is no need for you to draw the number line. But we need to make sure that before we arrange them, it must be in the same denominator. So this question wants ascending. So ascending means from the small to the bigger one. Okay, from small to the larger number. Now if you look at all these numbers, it is not in the same denominator. And we got mixed fraction in this uh, order. First thing, we need to change. So I know that for 3 quarters, for me to get 8, I need to multiply 2 for my denominator. So this one is now negative 6 over 8. Okay, we got mixed number. Sorry, so the mixed number is negative 1 multiply 4 and plus 1, you get 5 over 4. Okay, 5 over 4 is not the same denominator as the others. So I know that I need to multiply 2 on denominator and numerator. So I will be getting 10 over 8. The other one is half. So 2 need to multiply 4 in order for me to get 8. So I'm going to do same on the numerator. So getting 4 over 8. Now this one is already in 8. But I need to change it to become improper fraction. So negative 1 multiply 8 and plus 5. Okay, you get 13 over 5. Let's not forget the negative. Okay, so now everything is there. I'm going to rewrite this so that it is easier for me to see. So the first number is 1 over 8, negative 6 over 8, negative 10 over 8, 4 over 8, negative 13 over sorry here should be 8 all right and then last one is negative 3 over 8 so i'm going to erase this okay so ascending so i need to get small smalls mean we look at the negative number first Now, because it's already in the same denominator, which is 8, we look at the number which is the larger. So, from 6, 13 and 3, I know 13 is the largest. So, that one will go first. So, my first answer will be negative 13 over 8. Alright, next to that will be negative 6 over 8 and negative 3 over 8. Oh, I mean this one. Sorry. I got one more, which is 10. Means that I need to erase this one. Alright, negative 10 over 8, negative 6 over 8, negative 3 over 8. Okay, now from the positive number, the one that is smaller, which is 1 over 8 and 4 over 8. Now make sure you check, check that it has the same number of fraction as in the question. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright. I've written all my fraction. So this is how you arrange in ascending order. Let's look at the next question.
this time we want to arrange in descending order okay if you remember the tips that i told you last time if you see descending order d represent the word down right so it means that it is from a larger number towards the smaller number Right, if you notice, we have the same set of number. So I'm not going to change it again one by one. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy down what we have already changed. Right, so it's 1 over 8, negative 6 over 8, right, negative 10 over 8. That one will be, let's see. 4 over 8 and we got negative 13 over 8 lastly is negative 3 over 8 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 alright the next one we are going to arrange them this time will be the larger number towards the smaller number so it means that we are going to look at the positive number first Alright, so we got two positive fraction, which is 1 over 8 and 4 over 8. So between them, the larger number is 4 over 8. So we'll start with that one. 4 over 8. Next to that will be 1 over 8. Then we look at the negative fraction. So negative fraction, same, we are going to look at the numerator. So we got 6, 10, 13 and 3. So we start with the smaller number, which is negative 3 over 8. Next to that will be negative 6 over 8. And then negative 10 over 8. Lastly will be negative 13 over 8. Now if you notice that, the negative sign that I write is on the left of the fraction and not on any part of the numerator or denominator. Okay, So to write a proper, fra proper way of negative fraction, so negative will be at the side and then only followed by your fraction. Unless of course the negative is for either the numerator or denominator but since we are not doing any operation computation calculation anything of those means that the negative must be placed next to the fraction not either of the fraction of i mean the numerator or denominator okay so we have already learned how to place the number in number line and we also learn how to arrange positive and negative fraction in according to either is ascending or descending order so for you to try out let's hopefully that you do this homework which is on your textbook all right so i will see you again in the next lesson goodbye